What would the Norse god Odin say if you were to walk into this room today? Speak to us. Children of mine, fair and beautiful, children of the light, you know me. I am known to you as All Father Odin, the Wanderer, Lord of the Wolves and of the Ravens. My home is the primal forest, the place of the mighty ash and the oak. You knew me there, my children, when you were newborn to this world. There you aided me in my wars against the lords of the underworld, the evil ones who dwell in darkness, corrupt you into their snares. When you lived in the old forest with me, we were always victorious against such enemies. But some of our people have forgotten my counsel. And your race of light and beauty is becoming stained. Your blood has thinned. Your minds and your instincts have dulled. My children, I did not teach you to give yourselves over to the propagation of alien strangers who never lived with me in the old forest. I taught you to love and cherish your own kind, to defend what is yours. I gave unto you beauty and wit, strength and will. Once Everyone knew you as my children. But what have you become? And whither are you going? Will you humiliate yourselves to the point of extinction? Why? What could bring you to this sorry state? Because you are mine own, you possess the strength and the ability to defeat any enemy. Unless, of course, that enemy be yourselves. And what is this false charity I see you slaving over? You allow your old folks to worry in their final years while you give succor to aliens, those you foolishly allow into your midst and those you just as foolishly aid from afar. Is that what I taught you? The lessons ingrained into your very souls? No, my children. I taught you to be proud and upstanding not servile and base, groveling like servants before ungrateful swine. I said unto you long ago, that as long as you believed in yourselves, those who might take your lives in battle could never, never take that which I gave to you and only to you. You were told not to share your blood, your soul force, or your memories of me with strangers. They have their own God. Albrecht's children have their gold with its false promises. What need had you to conspire with them against the gifts I had given you? So I, all Father Odin, say enough of this treachery and foolishness. You are mine own. My spear once protected you. It can protect you again. Valhalla. It's where I rejoice with my heroes of yore. But where? Where are my modern day heroes? Tis most strange. The ravens tell me tales of weakness in the face of thine enemies. Hear me well. I am thy warrior god. Thy forefathers are my heroes. My life in Valhalla is filled with their valor from which I draw great joy, even unto this day. But some of you, my children, fill me with dread. You fear simple words. You recoil from two-legged beasts who only snarl. You hide like frightened pups from mouthy fools and slinking thieves. Yet you cry for assurance. Ha! Assurance! All the assurance you can ever require flows in your blood. Look to your history. Stand up as your ancestors did of yore. Take what is yours. Seize thy birthright. You have no one to fear. My power is only waned in the hearts of the weak and the foolish, but it thrives with zestful spirit and those who know the life force their forefathers rejoice to share. Ye who would fill Odin's power need only rise up. For generations, few have proven worthy of that great honor. The ravens fly out daily, bringing me word of dastardly deeds and cowardly acts most painful to mine ears. 
I gave unto thee godlike gifts. But the weak and the foolish among you have taken these treasures and trampled them into the mire. But the ravens also bring me word of a noble few who fight on, who stand firm for the greatness which still dwells inside of you. Will these courageous few redeem the many? All too few refuse to think and to act for themselves, to redeem themselves. Albert Spawn holds them firmly in their clutches, their souls twisted and distorted so that I no longer recognize them as my own. Counterfeit men with dead souls, confused boys who know nothing of courage and less of manhood, troublesome women who blacken the roles of women, motherhood, and mate, hide them from my sight. In due time, they shall be struck down by their own folly. You, my warriors, you who remember your heritage and know who you are, prepare thyselves. Alarm thy slumbering brothers to the fight. Counsel thy wayward sisters in this distressful folly. Forfeit thy future no longer. I gave unto thee the gifts to write thy greatness upon time itself. But that greatness must be reaffirmed, for today it hangs buried by a most precious thread. Shun doubters and idle dreamers, for they kindle no fires. Bragging louts don't win battles. Drunkards and slackers are cumbersome baggage. Banish them from your battlements. In a sea of doubters, hold true to your blood. Shiver with discipline. Shudder with passion. And let will be thy compass. Open thine eyes to an uncommon vision and see thyself as I saw thee so long ago. Then, then shall ye pour down these thieving charlatans and repay their evil with due recompense. Let courage be thine authority. For refound courage for this destiny on you. Order.